So this is a prototype on how to demonstrate to a customer Azure Machine Learning Services uh, visual interface. We had a customer give us sales data for five years. So what you're seeing on your screen is five years of sales data. And they wanted to see the capabilities of Azure Machine Learning um, to see if it could predict the next 18 months of sales. Uh, a, bo a benefit would also be if we could tell them what the local currency was for the sale. So not a lot of data to go on. How could we figure all of that out? So the benefit of using um, Azure and its tooling is we enable the citizen data scientists. So you don't need a high price data scientist necessarily to be able to do basic predictions such as this. So let me show you how I did this. Um, first of all, the best way to start any data project is to start by visualizing the data. So we brought the data into Power BI and we looked at the sales data that they gave us. So here's some interesting information within Power BI. Uh, we have some cards up here that tell us what our sales totals were for a given time period. Uh, what you're looking at here are sales by year uh, and by half year. Uh, so we see that sales are definitely increasing. So that's a good thing. Um, but one metric that every sales organization wants is sales growth. And you'll see here that sales growth year over year is actually declining. So that's pretty interesting. Um, and then the last thing here is what do the sales look like uh, by month? So you'll see there's definite seasonality in these months uh, when I plot this in Power BI. So just looking at this data briefly, you'll see that the high uh, watermark for sales was in um, February uh, for 2011. Uh, and then it went to January for 2012. Uh, and then it went to January again for 2000, I'm sorry, then it went to February for 2013, and then back to February and February again. So there's some seasonality trends. Definitely the winter months are, are the, the, um, uh, the sales that are important, um, but we want to predict essentially what the sales are going out. So there's some seasonality there, so we can do some seasonality metrics in this data. So it's very simple. Uh, Azure Machine Learning Studio uh, is essentially a visual interface that I launch from the, the Azure portal. Uh, when I launch it, I see a blank canvas, and this is what anybody, not just trained data scientists, can use to do basic analytics. So what I wanna look at here is my data. So I have my data already copied into Azure. I'm just gonna drag this guy over. Uh, and it's very basic data. There's no cleanup I have to do to this data. Uh, so what you do whenever you do machine learning is you wanna split your data into data, data you can train your algorithm with, and then data that you can test your algorithm with. So what we're gonna do is split our data. So we take this split uh, data option and you're gonna see where this comes in handy in a minute, uh, but we're gonna draw a little line there to say that this is the precedent. So we're gonna load our data and then we're gonna split it and we're gonna split it. Um, by default, it splits it 50-50. We're gonna split it 70-30, which is a common um, a technique in the data science world. Uh, what we're actually trying to predict here is a continuous number, the sales total. So in the data science world, we call that regression. So I'm just gonna type regression here uh, and I'm gonna choose linear regression. Notice there's a lot of regression options and we can try many different ones. Um, what we need to do is train our algorithm. So I'm gonna go in here and find the train module. Uh, there's tons of modules in here that do all kinds of things. We're just keeping the demo very brief. The train module takes two inputs, uh, an untrained model, so that's this guy. So I'm gonna drag him over here, and then some data that I can use to train it with. So I'm gonna use 70% of my data. That's the first output to train this. Uh, now I wanna go in and I wanna score the model. After it's trained, I wanna use the other 30% of the data to say how close am I to reality. So I'm gonna drag that right here. It takes two inputs, the trained model. Um, so that's gonna come out of here. That's the trained model. And then the data I'm gonna validate against, and that's gonna be the 30%. And it's gonna look uh, essentially when I run this and it's going to say, um, you know, uh, how close are my predictions? So I'm gonna run this. I'll show you what it looks like in Power BI after it's been run. After it's been run, this is how close my predictions came. This is uh, how close my predictions came just using that simple amount of data uh, to the actual um, uh, data that's uh, available in the data set. You notice they're very close. So the green is the actual sales total and the prediction is what 
again, we predicted in black. Notice it gets very close. Uh, when you look at this data carefully, if I go back here, again, you'll notice the high months are always in the winter, so there's seasonality there, and it goes February, January, uh, again, hovering over that, uh, January, and then February, February, and back to January. And if you're familiar at all with Chinese, that's Chinese New Year. Uh, Chinese New Year always goes February, February, January. So that's the trend. And again, if I look and see if it caught that trend, you'll notice it did. So it finds the high water marks uh, from the predicted versus edge actual are very close. That's a very simple use case for Azure Machine Learning, and it's something that anybody can do with just a few mouse clicks. Thanks.